One of the tutorials that has been super, super, super popular on my channel has actually been my eyelid kind of trick. And I've got two tutorials on my channel right now how I actually glue my eyelids into a crease. Now, I've seen this happen so many times with loads of Asian bloggers and one of my best friends at the time showed me Egg Magazine every week. And in loads of the magazines in Japan, they actually have step-by-step -step guides in the magazines, how to achieve a look. And eyelid glue and eyelid tape are hugely popular in Asia and they're really, really, they're not seen so much over here. I went through a mission to find the right kind of glue and I have a tutorial about how to glue them. But most of the time I actually build an eye look based on drawing in a crease. So today, without glue, I'm gonna do a glueless crease and I hope you like it. Okay, so the trick with this, it's kind of, it, it does make perfect sense really, um, but I start a lot of my tutorials off like this because I want to give the illusion I have a crease. Um, so, it's kind of easy, it's straightforward. Right, I'm going to go in with a concealer. You guys can go in with a cold pencil or a cream eyeshadow. The reason I like to use concealers is because I can actually manipulate them. They're like wet, it's kind of like working in oil paint and to me that's how I learned to um, do makeup. So, so if I look into the mirror, I'm actually just going to look straight forwards. When I look straight into the mirror and my eyes are kind of fully open, you can probably see that my crease is kind of swallowed up. So I like to put a little bit of a line just above on each side. just to know where my crease, I want to kind of fake it. So then with my little brush, I cut down like so. And then if you want it to look very kind of um, elongating, sometimes I cut this into the nose contour, so I actually join it up all the way around here, but I think it looks more kind of Disney and big eyed if you kind of join it here. Now I need to grab a contrasting colour and I'm going to be using either white or a more kind of friendlier version which is like this pale. Um, this is again a concealer. And doing the total opposite, we're going to colour against the line. Now we can actually use this colour, what's left, just under the brow to give the brow some dimension too. Because we're kind of making the contour look like it goes brow bone socket. Grab a fluffy brush and start just kind of blending this in. And you don't want to move the lines into each other, you just want to blend them down. So instead of going in with eyeshadow and saying this through, I actually go in with powder because this takes out the intensity of the shadows. I'm just using Dermacolor Set Powder. So if you've contoured and your look is kind of natural, mine's kind of fairly bronzy and smoky and fabulous today. So I'm going to take the same contour I've used and I'm just going to go over the area we've done so it's kind of consistent with the whole face and it doesn't stand out so much. I also take it underneath the eye a little bit just to kind of make it more rounder. So to make this stand out even more I'm actually going to go in with this NARS colour it's like a shimmery kind of golden beige and I want to use this on the lid and anything that kind of puts a matte next to a shimmer gives the illusion of three dimension because this looks like it's jutting forwards compared to the madness. So I'm just applying this all over the lid. We're not going into the socket or the crease. And really here we go. That's pretty much the crease. The crease is cut. So to finish this off, I'm gonna add a little bit of light. I think a liner helps disguise the actual crease, your natural crease, because you're colouring it in essentially. Um, so I'm just going to do, I'm not going to do a mega thick line. 
And then to thicken the lashes, let's add some mascara. This is my favourite Max Wax mascara. So here is how to create a crease without using glue. I really hope you like this one. I do this all the time in my tutorials. Everyone's always like, you're doing the same thing. But it's really because I start this off as the base um, to give myself the illusion of a crease. And so I hope that was helpful. Check out my glue tutorials if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen those. This one was really fun to do and I hope you enjoyed it. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.